awesome. I'm oh. no. Bank? But
Well, prices are a bit lower today. Take a look, if you have the chance. What'd you bring? You gotta tell me. How many are you selling? All right, I'll take that. How many are you selling? You sure? All right, I'll take that. How many? You're sure, it's a deal. How many? All right, I'll take that. How many? You're right. All right. I'll take that. How many are you selling? You're right. All right. I'll take that. How many are you selling? All right. I'll take that. Hmm? You finished? Be seeing ya. You gotta tell no. Just gonna sneak back into practice. My mom's been on my case. She took me to the hospital. She insisted after I told her about my knee. She made the appointment without telling me, so there was nothing I could do. You said it. I don't get why my mom and the rest of the team are acting like this. It's exhausting having everyone up in your business. Today they took some x-rays. They'll give me the results in a few days. Not sure why that has to take so long. Oh hey, don't tell anyone about me going to the hospital, all right? I'm counting on you. I feel bad for always asking you to keep things quiet. Sorry about that. The doctor told me to take it easy today, but you should still get to practice. Oh, wait, if you're leaving, that means practice is already over. Well, guess I'll just go home. See ya. Perfect timing. Would you mind heading to the rooftop with me? Now, now, no need to be so modest. We're all friends here, right? It isn't anything important. I just wanted to show you something. And I just so happen to have the key to the rooftop. <laughs> now then, shall we go? Do you recall fighting that shadow here on the rooftop a little while back? Well, while cleaning up the aftermath, I happened upon some planters and gardening tools. And I couldn't help myself from setting up our own little garden. So, what do you think? Not too shabby, huh? Oh, are you not interested in this sort of thing? Tending to plants can help calm the mind. Or so they say. I don't have much gardening experience myself. But I digress. 
There is, in fact, a reason I brought you here. I'd like you to use these planters however you see fit. Although I did set them up, I'm afraid that I won't be able to tend to a garden as often as I like. I didn't mention it to Kirijo-kun, but it didn't catch on, I suppose, due to her upbringing. Besides, you're able to cook meals at the dorm, correct? Well, now you can grow your own vegetables for healthy eating. Oh, I won't force you to work on this if you absolutely don't want. I'm just giving you the option to do so. Come plant something whenever you feel it. Here are some seedlings. You should be able to purchase other types of seedlings around the city. Well, that's everything. And now it's time to raise the roof and elevate this garden to new heights. And to top it off, eat your veggies, peas.
Hey. Oh, yeah. Thanks for coming, man. You mind waiting here for a sec? Okay, listen. Don't freak out. I'm gonna go ask Miss Kano out. Like, right now! Thanks, man. Time to go get myself a girlfriend. All right, this is it. Here I go. Oh man, listen to this. She said yes! I can't believe it, this is crazy! I was just about to ask her out, but then she asked me if I wanted a private lesson. For real, dude, I owe you. I owe you big time for hearing me out. Oh man, I'm not ready for this. I shouldn't expect anything too crazy from the get-go, right? But then again, she is an adult, so... Oh, forgot you were there. Sorry, but I got a jet. I'll give you my autograph. It's always a pleasure to meet a fan. Ugh, don't be ridiculous. Never look a gift horse in the mouth. I'm sure you've seen the home shopping program, Tanaka's Amazing Commodities. Yes? Allow me to introduce myself. That's right, I'm Tanaka himself. Surely you've heard the name. I'm afraid I can't offer any returns on your 40,000 yen, but I've autographed my business card for you. Hold on to that. It'll be worth a pretty penny in a year or so. Ah, uh, and with that, <laughs> I must be going. Brat. The 
Doesn't he realize he's in the presence of a star? Time is money, especially mine. Should have squeezed a few more payments out of them. Disturbing me. Get out of here. Shoo. You? You overheard me talking to myself just now, didn't you? You'll forget it ever happened if you know what's good for you. I belong to a powerful talent agency. I'm practically a celebrity. I have an image to maintain. Don't even think about telling someone that I took your money or called you a little brat, capiche? Don't get cute with me. You think you can get away with anything with that pretty face of yours? Oh, <laughs> silly me. I've let you in on my little secret, haven't I? <laughs> uh, don't tell anyone, okay? Please, I'll lick your shoes clean if you want me to. So, you won't tell anyone, right? You better be ready to cross your heart and hope to die if you're lying to me. A verbal agreement is a form of contract, and if you breach it, I'll sue your pants off. I've got your adorable little face etched into my mem- Diamond in the rough, my boy. All you need is a little polishing, and you'll sparkle. I often take my breaks here. I'd be happy to mold your young mind whenever you wish. Gary, I'm counting on you. For both our sakes. I understand. Oh! Hey, Odagiri, what was that about? What did he mean by for both our sakes? 
He just wants to create a better school environment, so he simply asked a student fit for the job. Just like how the president asked him to join the student council to help out. What? You can't decide something like that without talking to the president first. Someone found a cigarette butt in the boys' bathroom. And that teacher wants the disciplinary committee to look into whose it was. Someone has broken school rules. It's only natural that I'm involved in finding and holding the transgressor accountable. Look, you have two choices. Either help out and prove you can be trusted, or refuse and prove you can't. People like you and me have to deal with a lot of crap around here, don't we? Well then, I'll be excusing myself. Hey! Don't ignore me! You kiss ass! Student council members shouldn't be fighting like this, should they? I better go tell the president. <laughs> <laughs>